All right, quick video, sort of quick. Bathroom remodel, it is complete, other than a couple of minor things. That's it, you can see the pattern. Virtual pinwheel, anyway, this thing was taken, everything ripped out. Of course, I stuck the old window back in, she wanted it. She wanted to keep it because it matched the rest of the trim in the house. It's that old trim. Anyway, that old stain. House is 50 something years old. Termite water damage ripped out every two by four and replaced it with pressure treated. Whole thing was gutted, subfloor, floor joists, and that beam under there, all gone. I was walking on dirt. All gone, so everything's been replaced with uh, pressure treated. All the electrical's been redone. It never had a plug in here. Of course, the vanity wasn't even there. But uh, anyway, redid the electrical, put the, all the electrical's been reworked. Plumbing, of course, redone. Now they picked a, a tile at least they said it didn't have a bone hose or they couldn't find one. They bought the tile. And uh, I told them how much to get. And so I had to stop my tile inside the shower door. It didn't have a bone hose, so, or at least they didn't get one. They said they couldn't find one to match. So anyway, I had to work that out. Made it a little difficult, but anyway. See, it did everything myself. Didn't sub out one thing. Did the dry pack, pack liner, pre-slope, all that stuff myself. All right, see the pattern in here? Stuck with it all the way throughout the shower. Anyway, I get a double. Bath bathroom, the shower really isn't big enough, you know, for two people, but that's what they wanted. They wanted it, of course, this was the first one, and then we, they wanted this after. I mean, it's a five foot shower, it's like 40 inches by 60 inches. But uh, they wanted that after, so I went in the back wall. I mean, when I say after, I mean after. I had the final coat of paint on it. Oh, now this bench, I'll do this bench again. This this bench, I'll never do a different one. Uh, this is the one I'll do from now on because this, when I was able to install it after I grouted it and everything. So there's no chance of it leaking if it does leak. It leaks right onto the floor or onto the outside of the shower wall. Impossible for it to leak in the wall. And I was able to anchor it with studs because I thought ahead when I framed it. Anyway, that's it. I've got other videos on the, on the whole thing. So. This never had a, I don't know if I said this or not, but it never had a vent in it in this bathroom, so I made a spot where we can hook it up to the HVAC. Anyway, got a couple little things to do. Get the knob for the shower door, put that up. I'm missing a piece to that. It's a fan-like combo, and it's in a shower, so I got it like either do a GFI breaker or something, figure something out. Got to get my scutcheons on, my plumbing, place a couple of light switches. I thought about actually putting a GFI plug here that will run that, be connected to that fan. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that's it. So the only thing that's original in this bathroom is the door and the window and we will see it friend this cost about eight thousand dollars labor and material 
complete gut. When I say complete cut, that's floor joists, two by fours, everything. Adios.